everyone it is danny and welcome to this updated video this morning i really hope that you guys are doing fantastic and enjoyed yesterday with all your loved ones and so we're going to be looking at what is happening across the atlantic and we're focusing right now on the infrared satellite imagery now we can see that there is some activity moving through mexico and also portions of the southern u.s but uh, the Caribbean is kind of vacant of any substantial activity at this time. Yes, there's a few showers that are uh, moving through some islands, such as St. Vincent, even going toward portions of St. Lucia. And there is some activity just offshore of Dominica and Martinique, but uh, there isn't anything major going on right now. However, there has been a recent increase in hazy conditions as some Saharan dust has entered the southeastern portion of the basin. So we're going to be looking at the forecast for that. Uh, this was actually expected for this morning at 8 a.m. Eastern time. We can see all these uh, all these brown shadings representing that dust across portions of the Lesser Antilles from around Martinique southward through to Grenada, including Barbados, Trinidad, Tobago, also see in Northern South America and the ABC Islands. And this could even stretch as far as uh, Southern Central America in the vicinity of Panama as we're seeing on the forecast here. Now, as we head to later this week, going to our Thursday, the 28th of the month, you can see that much of this is expected to dissipate, but there's that next mass of Saharan dust out there. So I'll be keeping you guys posted on it. But the Saharan dust, it has its benefits because it is a pretty good source of phosphorus and helps to boost crop production. But on the downside, it does trigger respiratory illnesses. So please be mindful of that if you're being impacted. And of course, when there is a large quantity of dust, that helps to reduce visibility as well. And if you're curious about other impacts, you can go ahead and check out this video, which I posted a couple of months ago to my second channel, Weather Extras, and I break down the impact of the Saharan dust on the Caribbean. So you can go ahead and check that out. But let's go ahead and move on to the rainfall forecast for today. So as I mentioned, portions of the Lesser Antilles are receiving some rainfall today, nothing too crazy. And we can see most of these green shadings across much of the Caribbean islands. But things get a bit more colorful across two areas, going up toward northwestern Cuba, parts of Florida and the Bahamas. We're seeing that it's more colorful there. So there could be over an inch of rainfall across some areas and as we head down into portions of northern south america for colombia and right now if we go back to the satellite imagery we can see all of that activity being produced lots of showers and thunderstorms there so that has been a pretty active area but as we look further to the east going toward northern venezuela and the Guyana, is not as much expected but some rainfall is definitely possible and then as we look to other areas going toward the abc islands through the lesser antilles and also going toward the virgin Islands in Puerto Rico, parts of Hispaniola and Jamaica, and uh, sections of the Cayman Islands, and over toward Central America, for example, in parts of Guatemala, Belize, uh, going toward Panama. There could be some showers moving through today for some areas. There may be a heavy downpour or so, but for the most part, we're not seeing that there is anything too major expected across the Caribbean islands as we head into today going up to the turks and caicos island southern bahamas is going to be pretty dry within that area of course there is a chance of some passing showers but nothing much is really anticipated as we head through today and not everywhere across the aforementioned areas as well will be receiving rainfall so the rainfall is possible today but that's not going to be the case for every single portion of the various countries but i'll be keeping you guys posted on that and uh, things have also calmed down in terms of those winds across the Caribbean. So we can see that darker shade of purple and those blues as well offshore of Florida to the east as well as in the vicinity of the northwest Bahamas. So winds are still picking up there up to around 20-25 knots. And also offshore of Colombia in the Caribbean we can see that darker shade of those purples and blues as well. But from much of the area we can see these very light shade -ins. winds up to around 5-10 to 10 knots through today for the most part. So uh, we're definitely watching for that next cold front, though, that will likely result in the uh, stronger winds and those rougher seas as well, the rainfall, and also that massive cool air, which I've been talking about for some time. So that is still expected later this week, and I'll be talking more about it as we approach the time. But right now as well, in terms of the wave heights, we can see that across much of the Caribbean, it's these blue shades, so anywhere from around 1 
going up to say five feet for most of the region but of course offshore of colombia that's where we have some of those stronger winds the waves there are a bit higher maybe up to around six seven feet and also we're seeing out in the atlantic offshore of the southeastern u.s some of those green shadings going on to those yellows as well so maybe up to around nine ten feet or even more than that but i'll be keeping you guys posted as i said and that is pretty much what i wanted to share with you in this update video i really hope you found it to be quite informative but if you have any questions as always please do leave them in the comments i'll respond when i get the chance to do so and remember to always be weatherwise